What's up everybody, I hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes I wanted to do a price prediction and price analysis on uh, the Sandbox, abbreviation SAND against USDT on Binance, again because most volume of SAND is traded on Binance. Um, and this, go this is going to be a technical analysis in which I will predict, um, according to my own technical analysis and my opinion, the short-term pri price movements of this cryptocurrency. But I wanted to start off with a little bit of fundamentals. Um, so I think this crypto is very well developed. Um, I'd recommend uh, looking up their website. It's very good and they help you with creating your own games and stuff. They, they have a real product. Um, and a good product in my opinion because I think crypto and gaming are going to be very interconnected with each other at least um, it will be a big industry um, and this crypto plays into that so f I wanted to first off uh, tell you that I think long term right now this is at like one and a half billion market cap long term I think this is going to be a very good investment um, I haven't invested in it myself and this is also not financial advice, this is just my opinion um, and I haven't invested myself because it's it's not my type of investment uh, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to tell you that first. Of course, I recommend you researching yourself as well. The website is just, yeah, you can just look up the Sandbox Crypto and the first website you get, it's their website. It's very well designed and stuff, so yeah. Um, but having said that, let's get right into this analysis. We are on the daily time frame. We are going to switch to the four hour time frame. Um, so this crypto has been trending yesterday in the last few days. It went up a lot. I think more than 100%. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> At its height, I think about 400% up or, or times three. Um, and it found resistance at the 2.4, there was also a 3 Fibonacci of an earlier move. Um, and now price is retracing a little bit. And to be honest, I think short term the price can retrace even a little bit more. Um, I think we can find some support here at the 1.4, there's a Fibonacci, there's two actually, but one is further away and there's a retest of the trend line. So I think we can find support right there. Um, but to be honest, short term, I, I think this price is going to stagnate a little bit, consolidate a little bit. Um, and to be honest, I think it m could even go a little lower than this. Uh, ultimately, I think the lowest support would be around 1.06. So I don't think it will reach a psychological support level of 1.0. Uh, but 1.06 could be support as well. And as I said, I think uh, what happens a lot with cryptos, you know, the fundamentals don't always matter that much after such a big move especially the price tends to cool down a little bit consolidate a little bit um, and I think that's going to happen for this crypto uh, too so that has nothing to do with the fundamentals it's just a matter of capital flowing in and available capital and stuff so yeah um, I think so I think it will find some support at 1.4. I don't know if that will be the major support. I, I do think if it drops down anywhere between 1.2 and 1.06 would be the uh, major support. So one of these two. Um, not completely sure why if I would were to bet my money on it. But again, not financial advice. I think it's going to drop a little lower than this 1.4. I, I think about 1.2, 1.1, somewhere in between. Uh, and from there on out, I do think that it's going to consolidate a little bit between what prices would be difficult. My gut is telling me anywhere between like like 2 and 1.4 or 1.2, so, so maybe something like this. Just accumulating, um, and I think eventually we are going to see a, a move up again, but this, like, this movement is really for the upcoming days and possibly like 2 to 3 weeks. Uh, just consolidating, accumulating more capital, accumulating more interest, gaining more people who are really interested in the project. Pr yeah, in the project. And it might drop down a little bit lower at the end, maybe something like this. And then a lot of people will start to think, yeah, this is a good price to buy and it has been consolidated. And I think then we can see a price movement, movement such as, as, as this one. You know, I think we will find some resistance here at 2.4 again. Um, but ultimately, I think that the real next resistance area would be around the three psychological key level. 
maybe a little bit lower but yeah that, that would be the next major resistance when we will we reach that i'm not quite sure um if i were to have to say when we would reach it I, i'd say something like um you know it's always, always difficult with cryptos because it could also reach it tomorrow you know <laughs> but I, I think a few weeks would be quite reasonable so yeah that's basically my price prediction for the sand crypto if you have any questions about this price prediction or price analysis uh, please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible as for now thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you in my next videos bye